Good morning. Abraham Lincoln in 1858 echoed Jesus' words, a house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure, permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. Reading upon this, I think about the polarization in today's world, especially inside this country and even inside the church. And I have to turn to St. Paul from his first letter we heard during the first reading today, that as long as we have faith, the law will always come. So as I was thinking about the unity, I think the most important division that we need to repair is our separation from God. We must learn to integrate our spiritual and physical lives together. We all struggle with this. I know I do deeply. In my first year in seminary, I was struggling, and I went on retreat. And I kept on looking at my life as two different double life, the way that I was trying to live my life and what my internal life was telling me to do. Of course, I have never overcome this, but I still struggle with it. But during that time, I knew beforehand, a couple years beforehand, when I came back to the faith and I had to look at my life to see where I had gone wrong, I turned to the Blessed Mother. It was much easier for me to turn to my mother than to my father, as I think most boys couldn't understand. Um, so as I was praying about it and going through this retreat, I journaled this poem in my, um, in my journal that I want to share with you. Now, just to give you a little context, uh, Sherpa is a mountain guide, a, a person that goes up and down the Himalayas. My Sherpa. My Sherpa is strong, yet gentle. My Sherpa is rugged, yet refined. My Sherpa is powerful, yet meek. My Sherpa guides me as I ascend the mountain. When I rush ahead in my arrogance, she corrals me. If I stop, she waits patiently for me to begin anew. When I take the wrong path, she gently guides me back. At the crevasse, I believe I cannot cross, she lifts me. She guides me around obstacles large and small. My Sherpa asks for nothing in return expecting only for me to emulate her, with the lips of my heart shouting, let your will be done, for I am at your servant. My Sherpa guides me to the top of the mountain, filling my soul with everlasting joy, coming face to face to her son. So I ask us today to all pray to Our Lady of the Rosary, our collective mother, to guide us that we can come more fully to say, Jesus, I trust in you.